Oh, big one, big one, big one, big one. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Oh shoot. This one's huge. This one's huge. Look, it's taking my drag. Oh my god. Welcome back, guys. Just another, another day at the Kings River. This is the second video today, or second video this month. I'm excited. Two videos in a row in the same week. Let's get it done. I'm gonna try to be fishing right below the dam, which is, which the, it's gonna be the dam, which uh, what, what you see right there. Right below that, there's a small stretch of river where you can't, where you can't fish. It's protected. And then there's that small bridge. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but there's a small bridge right below that. Anything after that bridge, it's all free game. I'm excited to be out here and show you guys some fishing. I'm sure a lot of you guys watch fishing videos for the same reason I watch them because. You know, sometimes you're stuck at work, you're stuck at home. You wish you could be out here in the water. I know I do. That's the main reason why I watch a lot of these fishing videos too. Uh, a lot of the the more famous guys that fish in San Francisco. Some of the crab fishing out there. That's that's normally pretty awesome. One place that I've been really, really, really wanting to go to is uh, is actually Alaska. But that's gonna have to be another day. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon I get to have the privilege of going to Alaska and actually fish it. That'd be a video for another day. You know, one thing I actually realized last time that I was filming a video is I've actually never introduced myself properly in any of my videos, I think. My name is Ernesto. I come from a small town called Visalia. It's, it's like dead smack in the center of the Central Valley in California. I was born and raised in Visalia and, um, and I love fishing. Needless to say, I, I love fishing. <laughs> you know, I especially the, these rivers. These rivers are freaking awesome. I, I I love trout fishing. I like outdoors stuff. You know, like not no no not only necessarily fishing, but I like to go camping. I want to learn how to go hunting for like you know some of these bigger animals, maybe deer or something like that. But uh, but that's gonna be in the future. Um, but fishing that's where my core memories are going to be at and always going to be I've been fishing since I was like maybe 8 eight, ten years old but but that's where this lands at I think there's going to be a lot of people down there but let's see if we can find some spots find some fish to take home have a good dinner tonight make this a good video I don't see anybody fishing here so I think this is gonna be spot number one all right I'll be starting with one of these Coyote baits the small split shot and a and a bobber. I'm gonna just let it float down a little bit and see see if any anything wants to take it. I think that was a sucker fish right here. Oh, see? I think that has to be trout.
<laughs> I missed that one right there for sure. Hey, this fish shot fell off too. And that would have been our first fish of the day. I was just throwing the spinner around and I found a little fish over here on this side. Oh, pick that up. And that was on the Goyada spinner bait. Later, buddy. See you later. All right. As I'm walking to the next fishing spot, I want to tell you guys this story, right? So, uh, like I said earlier, I started fishing like when I was about eight or eight or ten years old. I, I don't know, somewhere somewhere around there. Can't remember the exact age, but but uh, my dad used to love fishing. He used to go fishing a lot. And uh, I remember one time when he took us, um, I was excited, right? Because I always saw him bring bring home fish and stuff like that. So I was excited to bring home some fish too. And uh, he he didn't have any fishing poles for us. So what he, what he did is uh, he, he got some bottles, some like Coke bottles or Gatorade bottles. I forgot what it was. And he just tied some string around it. So a string, a little hook, a bobber, and a, and a piece of worm, you know, right? And, uh, and he knew where the bluegill were at. So, so he had his fish for some bluegill. <laughs> and I remember catching my first little fish and I was excited. I was so excited. So I put the bottle down and I uh, took the fish off, put it in the bucket, and then as I went to cast another one, <laughs> I forgot to pick up the bottle again, right? So so when I went to go cast out, the lure and the, uh, the bottle went with it, right into the water. <laughs> and I, I had no idea what, what went on until I realized you know that I threw basically the whole thing in there, and yeah, the, and uh, and I, I don't know. I don't remember my dad being too upset about it. But I was just kind of like, uh oh, you know, what what, the, what just happened? <laughs> but but that was my first memory as a as a fisherman. And, uh, I'm just wondering if uh, if you guys also had a set because I, I love fishing stories, you know, and uh, if you guys have any fishing stories that you guys want to tell me or or uh, comment on the section or something like that, you know, uh, let, let me know, you know, give, give me some details and uh, and I'll tell your fishing story on here. I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun to read uh, to read people's people's stories of their first fishing experience or maybe maybe it's a story of you catching your biggest fish I think that'd be kind of fun so let me know oh so, <clears throat> the last time I was here I was telling you guys how how people were having such good success in this spot and then shortly after that I got a bite a big bite. I felt like it was something big, but but it didn't get hooked on. So I'm back again for some redemption. See, see if we can hook onto this monster. Whatever it is, I don't know what it was, but let's see if we can get get hooked up. Land it.
Not that bad. Still kind of small though. I st still feel that's too small for me to eat, so release that little guy. See you later, buddy. Please grow big for next time. Seems to be a lot of small ones, a small little trout. I mean, I'm sure you can still eat them. You can still um, clean them up and then deep fry them. That would probably be the best way to eat them. But I'm just being a little picky today. I want to. I want a little fatty that would have some good meat on him. Alright, let's see if we catch another one. Yep, there's another bite right there. Oh, ah, what? Alright, alright, alright. He's in there, he's in there. Doesn't feel too big though, but let's see if we can catch him. Regardless, that still isn't the big one I was looking for. Oh well. Maybe he swam him off to another spot. Ooh, 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 ooh. That felt like a good one. That felt like a real good one. Alright, this is the cast. This is the cast. I know. Feel it, feel it in the rod. Come on, come on, come on, come on, right here, right here, right here, right here. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Nice. I knew he was in there. Oh, it was a little energetic one, huh? Oh, shoot, it's under the rock, it's under the rock. Nope. Oh, this little guy's not giving up. Ah, come here. Got him. Alright, got him. Alright. We're free to go. See you later, little homie. You know, that's probably all there is. Just that. That size trout. If I would have kept the one from this morning, I would have had three, three small ones, but I'm still looking for that chunky one. That chunky, chunky. Before I move on to the next spot, I'm going to try this jig. See if, it, see if uh, maybe there's another fish in here if I'll be willing to bite it. Ooh, there's one right there. <laughs> it's a little, little skinny one. On a jig head. Well, that's always fun. Trying to get my pliers. Come on, little guy. All right. Thanks, little guy.
I think it's time to move on to the next um, possibly final spot. Spot always looks promising and I always end up catching at least one in here. For the most part they're small but you know always fun to catch. Oh, there he is. Yeah. He was all the way back there. Oh, yeah. That. I'm going to go y'all to spinner bait. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Put him in work. Might be the last fish of the day. Just let me get that hook out. All right, oh, shoot, he fell back in there. See you later, bud. Grow nice and big. So you can be nice and chunky next time. All right. See if I can catch one last one, and then I can go home. Big one, big one, big one, big one. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Oh shoot. This one's huge. This one's huge. Look, it's taking my drag. Oh my god, guys. Oh. oh, look at my rod. Look at my rod bend. Oh, this one's huge. Oh no. Please don't get off. Please don't get off. Holy shit. Shoot, this one's huge. Oh no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Please don't, please don't get off, please don't get off. This is the fish I was waiting for. This is the, the fish I was waiting for all day. Holy shizzle. How the f I'm gonna land this guy? Look at him. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Look at, all, look at the size of this monster. Oh, shh. Okay. I only got a four pound test on my micro light. Oh, come on. It's right on his lip. It's right on his lip. Come on. 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 Holy shoot, guys. Oh, look at this guy. Yeah. Trying to position myself to show you guys here. Oh, my foot's stuck. I'm trying to get my foot out. This is 
on my microlate four pound test yes yes this is the guy this is the fish i was waiting for all day you boy hell yeah this guy that's the size of my neck compared to him he's about like right here look at that on my and then this like I said I make these spinner baits look at him right on the lip he even has a little hook jaw going on there that is crazy on a four pound test. Look how massive this guy is. What a beautiful fish. Look at him. That is insane. That is insane. <laughs> yes! This is exactly the fish I was looking for all day. What a gorgeous fish. My hand compared to... Oh, that's crazy. My micro light, four pound test. And it's one of the Bass Pro. You see how, how much my rod was bending? Look, he's, even, he's missing a little fin here. It's probably... That's what happens with a lot of these stalker fish. They they get their fins clipped. And uh, he has his other one. Well, this is an amazing fish. All right, I think it's time to let this guy go. Let me get this hook out of his mouth. I don't think I'm gonna keep this guy. I, something about big fish. These huge fish like this, I. Oh my god, <laughs> he's, he's ready to go. Alright, hold on. Hold on, buddy. Yes. Right out of his mouth. Boom. I don't like to keep these big fish because... I'll tell you guys right now. Ooh, look at him. There he goes, into the depths again. This is at the end of the day too. I was about to leave. Got 4% of battery on my GoPro. All right, so yes, I do keep some big fish once in a while, but uh, but for the most part, I do release a lot of a lot of the big fish, kind of like this one, because uh. I don't keep all of them. I only keep some of them. Uh, I think I've only kept like two out of, out of like, I don't know, six, seven big ones like that that I've caught in the past couple years. And uh, but, but now that that fish got released back into water, someone else has a chance to catch that big fish again, and that is pretty freaking awesome. Like I said, all it takes is just one fish to make someone's day just that much better. And then that person, it, it could have made their whole day. Right there, that, that made my whole day. That right there made my whole day. And uh, someone else, it, now it could make someone else's day again, you know? Or it can make someone else's week, it can make someone else's month, it can make someone else's year, you know? And, and, uh, and that person feels just that much better because he caught that one fish, I believe he can be just that much better of a human being to another person. Once he goes back to work, maybe he, maybe he's a he, he can be a better customer service, or maybe he is the customer. 
and uh, he he wants to be nice to to the employee give him a little bigger of a tip you know something like that but but yes that's what it's all about making the world just that much of a better place that right there was freaking awesome And I believe Goyada Bates can help you, can help you be just that much of a better person by catching just that one fish. But I'm already super happy with that. And I think, I think uh, it's time for me to go home. I, I just ran out of time. That was one of my last casts already. And uh, what, a, what a freaking last cast that was. My God, man. That was it. That was it. Now that ending was a real freaking banger. I'm so happy I was able to catch that fish. That was just crazy. I'm so happy. Thank you guys for watching another adventure and I'm, a, I'm going to continue making more videos for you guys. Continue to catch big fish like that. Woo! I can't wait. Can't wait to see what else is out there for us. I'll catch you guys on the next time. And remember, go fishing with Goyada.